you were very highly recommended by uh, some of our younger team and um, who obviously following you and what you've been doing so um, we thought why not talk to you and see what you can do for us so this is some sort of a test yes what's one fear you know is holding you back I suppose um, is the uncertainty of um, the future what's um, you know which I guess is something that everybody thinks about and uh, whether we're doing the right thing um, you know there's always expansion plans and what we want to do and uh, are we doing the right thing right track are we on the right track because um, uh, first and foremost we're in a very competitive field and um, you know you've got to make sure that you continue to keep our standards without compromising on standards and carry out an expansion plan so Digital has certainly got a, a wider uh, audience um, and it's not just the young but young middle um, middle aged um, group of people. Everybody's got a smartphone, everybody's looking at what messages are coming across and billboards or radio are probably a little old school but on the other hand we've also got to be cognizant of um, the the people we're um, targeting in Kenya, we've got to be visual, you, you know, you've got to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a red. What did you love most about the place you grew up? What about it did you love the least? I grew up in Athi River and uh, we actually lived right next to the um, railway station. And what we loved about it was all the carriages and the trains that used to come through. And when we were young, we used to just run along the tracks and, and you know, it was just fun, carefree. Um, the least was probably the dust <laughs> around about the air, which I think at the moment everywhere in Kenya is. I think the expectations um, were probably a bit on the high side, but um, we certainly achieved um, most of what we wanted to accomplish. And, and a lot of it was to do with um, building up the brand awareness and the name and hopefully what we wanted to also try and achieve was to reach out to audience to show them what Kenya has to offer. You know, um, tourism is, is a big uh, industry for Kenya. So Kenyans should be able to, to experience it themselves and, and appreciate how much more it can do for us. Check behind the front. Ooh, it's a different color. <laughs> What was the last mistake you made that you're, prob you're sure you'll probably make again? One would probably be, um, you know, saying something that I'm not supposed to at the wrong time or something like that. And, uh, you know, not doing something in good time. And, and, and as a result, you could lose a, a contact, a client or, or uh, you know, a, a portion of business that we could have achieved. So inevitably it could be lack of response or something like that that I know is, is inevitably going to be repeated, although I try not to. <laughs> no, absolutely. Absolutely, for sure. See the first one. Oh, it's a terrible one. Can I put it back? <laughs> if I had a superpower, what would it be? I think um, I'd love to be a mind reader and just see, want to know what's going through people's minds and what they're thinking about. Um, so, hopefully that's, that's what you're looking for, yeah. <laughs> that's it.